Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be looking more at properties and we're going to be finishing our application that we created in the last couple tutorials now if you're unfamiliar with what you see on the screen right now uh, then you might want to move back a couple tutorials probably to the uh, enumerations video that's where we get started on making this application so um, if not then let's go ahead and get started so if you remember last time we created this property and what we did was we got the current hour that is stored in this date time picker now the hour is an integer because our property is an integer um, we don't have to specify the data type in here because we already did it up in the top now we have a set function and in the arguments we have to give it a value and what this does is it sets the value of date time picker hour to the value that the user passed so it sets the year month and day all according to the current machine that it's on then it sets the hour to whatever the use the developer passes to the to this function and then it sets the minutes and the seconds to zero so now let's go ahead and what we want to do is we want to change this text label um, based on what the person is doing. So before we get started doing that, we need to go ahead and create two events. Double click on your form one and double click on DTP hours. So we're going to get private sub DTP hour value changed and we're going to get form one load. So when the form one loads, we want to set our date time picker to the current time that uh, the program is running. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and type me dot hour so what this is going to do is we're using the me keyword which is referring to this class right here and now in this class we have a property called hour so when we call me dot hour it refers to this hour right here so me dot hour equals now dot hour so what this is going to do is it's going to set our hour property to the current time by using now dot hour to get what the current time is so it'll update the date time picker so now what we want to do is whenever the user changes a value in the date time picker we want to go ahead and update our hour so this is very simple as well so we'll use the me keyword to refer to this class and dot hour. Now if you're a little confused on the me keyword I'm gonna have a whole nother tutorial covering the me keyword uh, more in depth and now if you're coming from a different language the me keyword would be equivalent to the this keyword so we'll type me dot hour equals DTP hour dot value dot hour so it's gonna get whatever they put in and it's gonna update our hour property so now what we need to do is we need to set this label based on what the user has picked so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and we'll type label state dot text equals at and now we'll just go ahead and add the value or the hour so at value and then we're just gonna add zero zero because the value is a single integer um, ranging from 1 to 12 so at 1 o'clock to 12 o'clock either a.m. or p.m. Um, we'll just go ahead and type we'll just use the name Richard is and then so what this is going to do is going to say at and then the hour that they selected Richard is and it's going to we're going to leave this blank right now and we're going to create uh, a whole nother thing that will determine what Richard is doing. So you can have as many things as you want inside of a set, uh, a set block inside of your property hour. So if we go ahead and run this, you can see that it sets the current time, and um, the current time on my computer right now you can't see it, but it is 6:14, and because we use the current hour and then set the minutes and the seconds to zero automatic I mean um, by inputting it ourselves. it's gonna get the hour from the machine and then do whatever we tell it to for this 
and it says at 1800 Richard is so this uses um, military time so we change this to 5 and press enter okay sorry about that I had a little trouble there but so if we put 4 o'clock in here it'll say at 16 Richard is and if we type let's say 6 o'clock p.m. or let's change it to a.m. so at 6 o'clock a.m. Richard is so basically what we did is we created this property and the property value the property itself is set to the hour so if we did a message box that show and put hour it would give us the integer of the current hour and then we use the set um, to change the date and time of the date time picker so we set it to we created a new date and we set it to the now dot year now dot month now dot day and then the current value and then we just set the label state to at and then the current um, hour which is in military time Richard is and it doesn't display anything yet and then when the when the form loads we just set the hour property to the current hour and then when they change the date time picker hour we set me dot hour equal to uh, date time picker hour dot value dot hour now when we when we set me dot hour and use equals what this is going to do is it's going to call set for us so that calls set and value right here is equal to whatever we put after the equals so we pretty much did me dot hour and when we press the, when we type equals it calls set and the by val that is in here is going to be equal to this value right here so um go ahead and put this code in if you haven't already um, if you don't understand it you can go ahead and leave a comment I'll try to answer any questions that I can um, so thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorial